Right, ladies and gents, next litty tool. <laughs> um, we've moved on from the yields now and we're moving to the realm of dimples. And you have seen me make a couple of uh, dimple two in one litty style picks, but they, they were my, ho my own creation. And now we've got actual litty dimple pick. This is for the Iseo R6. And again, this is coming at the moment now from ALS Lock Tools. There we go, Iseo R6 SS304 2-in-1. Now, working a little bit different from other lishies, obviously, because we are rotating rather than lifting up and down. So the chart here is a little bit different, it has this little half moon type deal. Um, we've got the positions, and as you can see over at the blade, like any 2-in-1, it's got a dimple flag and a blade detention. Um, it's worth mentioning that on here, you'll see little cuts on that half moon. After we picked this, technically we're supposed to be able to rest it on the pin and then decode the lock based on where those cuts are angled at. I'm not too sure how accurate that would be, but the option is there, so that's good. Um, I'll pop this into the lock here, and as we can see, sorry about the wobbling of the phone connected to the table. Um, the picking tip goes down the left side of the pins and the blade is down the right side so naturally the easier way to use this tool would be in the anti-clockwise direction um, as we'll be twisting the picking tip in the opposite direction to the tension if we ever get any uh, spools or anything that's going to make it easier for that as well um this tool can be used in both directions it's just a easier in one than the other i'm going to demonstrate picking it in the other direction as well in this video so Hang around if you're interested in that. Right, obviously I picked this lock before doing this video just to make sure it works. It wasn't very easy, but they're not always that easy. So five was binding. I twisted, I got a click. What you can do if you level off this pick and try and slide it forwards and backwards, you'll see it, it gets caught. And where it gets caught there is on pin two, which means he's probably the binder. We'll give him a little twist. And now we passed across him, so I'll leave him alone. Moving again, I'm getting stuck on four. So we'll do the same for four. There we go, we've moved past. Six stops me. We hit six and we got a turn on the core. We're in a false set. That's brilliant. Now we can test, obviously six, landed is in the false set, so it isn't six. It's not five, not four, not three, not two. And there we go, indeed it's one that's going to give us the counter rotation. So, a little bit of pressure on there while it's turning. And there we go, we got the lock open. So, just like hand picking, um, just with a little bit of a guide there to let you know what pin's doing what. So, as said there, we'll whip this out and we will do a different lock here, picking to the other direction. Um, this is in a padlock, and yes, I know it's too long. I'm not fitting it for anybody, it's fine. <laughs> I'm going to put this padlock in here. Obviously, padlocks need to be turned clockwise to open. So, we have no option other than to pick it clockwise. In the case of this padlock here, you could pick it to the left slightly and then plug spin it round to the right because there is a little bit of movement to the left but we'll just pretend that it doesn't because not all padlocks can do that. So, a um, little bit light attention whilst picking to the clockwise direction. Uh, if you go too heavy on there, you'll get you'll get nothing out of it. So again, moving through the lock, I'm stopping on five. So that he must be the binder. I didn't get any click, so I'll let off my tension and put it back on again and try again. He's binding all the way down, but I'm not getting a click. Okay, we got to click that time. I put a little bit more tension on. Okay, four is binding us. Click out of four. Three is binding us. I'm just walking my way up on top of the pin as I'm pushing down. Oh, deep one. Is it? I had to twist it quite far, so that'll be a deep. Um, or should I say a shallow cut on the key? Two is binding, we're going in order here. So I'll just try and walk my way up on top of that pin. We've got to click out of two, and one is binding. 
walk our way up onto one. Okay, no anti-pick this time. We got that open. So as you can see, quite a normal way of picking it, to be honest, um, it just helps you out, get, get a bit of tension on. You could hold the padlock if you wanted in your hand whilst doing this as well. So it's quite comfortable for that. Um, I say OR6 can be a little bit difficult for getting your standard uh, dimple picks in. The keyway is quite paracentric as far as a dimple lock goes. So if we get our dimple pick in here, well, it won't fit in here, to be honest, it just won't go. You almost have to go from this side and with the other handed flag, obviously, but from this side and pick down. So again, that's uh, leaving you to pick it in one direction, but um, I think it's gonna be a fair bit easier now that we've got this lishy pick and we can do it uh, that way. So if you're interested, here's a quick look at the key for that padlock. Nice deep one on six over here. I guess like the other one, the first one that we did, that also had a deep one on six, but they are indeed two different keys. And there we go. So I'm sure these, these will be available now from uh, ALS Lock Tools. You can see that there, .co.uk. Um, not too sure on the price. Obviously that can change as well, so I won't put a price here in the video. I will try and put a link down below though, so you can go and have a look and uh, See if you want to pick one of these up yourself. I definitely recommend it for your kit. It's much more narrow than one of these big clunky two-in-ones and it does exactly the same job. It'll go in your lishy kit. Great for your everyday carry. That's it. Thanks for watching.